Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, another newsletter from Nordic Anglers. My name is Daniel and today I'm going to show you a few of the things that, that are really, really trending right now. I'm going to tell you a little about an, an upcoming trip and uh, and and some uh, some really, really exciting news from uh, from both uh, Nam Flyrods and, uh, and about Sage. Um, the first thing I want to show you and talk about is this one. This is probably something um, some of you have seen already. Um, and we've had this in the shop for about 14 days, I think. This is the new Smain uh, dubbing twister. This is an with absolutely, absolutely excellent and magnificent uh, fly tying tool. The first thing about this is, of course, the design is always, this is flawless when it's, uh, it is one of the products from Smain. But the other thing is that it's, it's absolutely perfectly balanced. So it's a perfectly, perfectly balanced, really, really nice dubbing twister. And then it's a dubbing twister with a twist because um, the, uh, the hook here where you, where you attach uh, the, the, the dubbing twister to the loop is actually, is actually um, is, is adjustable. So you can, you can use this to open and close your dubbing loop. But it has much more features than that because what happens when you're able to open this is you're able to attach a lot of different things. So you can you can add your your peacock curls, you can add a hackle, you can add some 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 lead wires, and just an, an enormous amount of different uh, possibilities and opportunities. And if you want to see exactly how this is demonstrated, um, try try um, searching on YouTube for the S M Hain, the S M H A G E N. Uh, uh, master dubbing twister and you will see a lot of really really well produced um, uh, instructional videos about how exactly to use this but it's back in stock for the fourth time now i think this this sells out just so damn quickly it's uh, it's it's it it has been a, a completely maddening how many we sell of these so and and uh, and i think um, i think with good reason because this is basically um, one of those things where the design here is just when you get this, when, when you hold this in your hand and you try using it for the first time, you, your mind, it, all your your mind goes uh, goes. Why has this not been invented yet? It's so logical. It's so clear that this is the way a dubbing twister should actually be designed. It's just it's just mind blowing. It's it's it's. I know it's a small thing, but once 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 you've tried it, you can you can you can never go back. So the SM Hain um, dubbing twister is now uh, online again, is now in stock again. Um, for how long, I do not know, because as I said, the demand for this has just been uh, uh, crazy, just in every regards crazy. So that was the first thing. The next thing I want to show you is this. This is, um, this is the new regulator spool from Scientific Anglers. And when you put, uh, when you unpackage this and take it out of the pack, um, what you basically get is it's it's aligned like like this. What this is is, uh, in my opinion, the absolutely best way of stowing and keeping track of all your fly lines. It's again one of those things. As soon as you have one, if you've tried it for yourself, you're gonna wonder why did I not have any of these before? Because it's it's simply just pure genius. Uh, it's basically uh, these these two components with a couple of handles in here, and then you have kind of a center here with with a, an elastic band that can expand. So you take the two handles, then you attach one of these in the in the. Uh, in the in the hole that is off center, and then you attach the other in the in the hole that is on center. Then you can you can combine these two, and you can you can you can slide them uh, away from one another, and then it it will latch down and it, and it's closed. So now you you will have um, a good way of actually winding your lines on on this. Basically, what this does is. I have cheated a bit. I had a a, a, a new a shooting head for my two-handed uh, equipment um, that I that I needed to change. So I just pulled it off the reel. Then uh, there is a hole here. You basically just put your leader in there because you want your leader to be the the, the line that is uh, in the in in the back back in the, in the back end of this. Um, 
if my voice sounds a bit rugged, it's just because I'm I'm having a bit of a cold and not anything serious. I, I have had all my vaccinations and and so it's it's not it's not and and I have even been sick from the corona as well. So it's it's just a bit of cold. But you know the show must go on, as they say. So um, um, it's it's not me drinking a lot of whiskey. That, that would have been a more fun story, but regretfully it's not. So um, basically, I just wind a few turns of the uh, of the leader here, and now I have everything aligned perfectly, and I can just start winding this. Because of the weight of the fly line, you you can of course do this uh, with a body, but but if if you have a fly line, then it's 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 not necessary. So basically, I just wind away, and the line will be on there. Just take a bit of care if if you're doing this on your own to make sure that the line is is here. Um, is 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 fit um, properly into this. Now I have my line on the spool here. I have my shooting head on the spool. Then what I can do is basically I can just uh, turn this the other way around. This will open it up. I can fold it on top. I can and I can fold it uh, so it's horizontally. And then I can very easily and perfectly remove my shooting head. And now my shooting head is completely aligned. It's perfectly, perfectly wound. It's not. It's not too tight. It's too small loops. It does not have been. It has not any kink whatsoever. And it's just perfect for organizing for uh, in 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 my flyline system. And one of these days, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this to every single one of my fly lines because I'm a bit fed up with having all the different all the different plastic spools and stuff. The way to go is is uh, I'm very fond of this uh, Rio head case, uh, which basically is is a case for your for your fly head for your for your fly lines and your and your, and your heads. And uh, what this have here is it has a lot of insertions. So you can simply, it, 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 it is pre-fitted with one of these, or two, I can't remember. But you can buy the insertions here, and basically, this is the best way to keep all your fly lines um, very, very easily, very safely. It's, it's tucked away. This one locks, so it's not exposed to sunlight and stuff. And with the uh, regulator spool, basically, the only thing you need to get complete control of all your fly lines is the regulator spools. And, uh, and then uh, the head case here from Rio. Just absolutely magnificent. And I mean, this is so simple and it's so small and it's so easy to set up. And if I want the line back on my reel, I basically just, you know, we, could, we could take another one because I have been doing a few of these. Then I just take my line, I place it on here, put my uh, regulator spool down, and then I am ready to, uh, to, to wind this on. And of course, you can do this with a body by basically pulling this out and adding it here, and then then you have uh, then you have the option to just hold both of these, and and pull off the line, or you can easily remove both of these. And what I do is is normally I have a, I have a big uh, tube fly needle for for pike tube flies, and I just attach it there and then spool the line on my reel. So the regulator spool here again one of the items that once you have one of these. You you're gonna be wondering to yourself why did I not get any of, get any of these before because it's just it's just it's absolutely a, a gem, um, and and one of the things that I already I've only had this for about a week, but I already am, am thinking this is this is the 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 best way to do this. There is other options, but some of them are very heavy, very big, and and made from metal. But this one, I basically think then. Every every single fly fisherman who have more than one line will be needing this tool at one point in time. So um, the regulator spool, really really awesome product from uh, from uh, Scientific Anglers. So now we can put that off to the side, and then I'm going to share some really exciting news with you. Um, um, uh, in the uh, in the in the next next week, I'm going to go to uh, to. Uh, to the U.S., I'm going to go to the States uh, to participate in this uh, in this really really big um, fly fishing expo that's uh, that's called the IFTD, 
where I'm going to talk with all the different brands and uh, and see all the new fly fi uh, fly tying and fly fishing equipment from all the all the major brands from from the U.S. and and from around the world. And uh, I'm going to try to do as much as I can of maybe not live streaming, but do as much as I can of you know vlog from from this uh, from this expo um, to uh, to share as much uh, exciting information regarding all these different things with you. Uh, out there, so so keep uh, keep on the watch out for for a lot of uh, a lot of videos from uh, from from the IFTD fair. Um, before I go to the IFTD, I'm gonna go and visit something that is maybe even more exciting. I'm gonna go and spend a whole day on the Whiting Farms. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be spending a full day at Whiting. Um, I have I have visited Whiting one time before. And that was just a mind blowing, mind blowing experience. And um, so I'm, I'm just really thrilled and extremely excited to go back there and to just to just see and uh, and and feel and and talk about feathers for an entire day with uh, with Tom Whiting. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be a blast. Um, I'm gonna try to do a video from there as well. Um, so so keep you keep keep on the lookout for for that on on, on the YouTube channel as well. The two la last things I want to mention uh, or talk about is that Sage just launched and released the first video and the first video visuals about their new uh, highly, highly, highly anticipated rod. It's going to be, it's, it's named R8 Core. Um, I've seen it and I've tried a few of them, the, the, the six weight and the five weight, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't try the seven weight, no. Um, and and I must say, um, Sage are really really going all in with uh, with 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 a new technology and and, and and a new technology in their their blanks and the rods feel feel really crisp crisp. They feel very very light and they feel very very um, potent. Is is probably <laughs> the best word to describe them. And the finish is, is as always with Sage extremely extremely nice. Um, and it, it has kind of a grayish thing, but already now you can you can uh, you can go to Nordic Anglers uh, to read more about it and uh, and uh, and and see the 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 launch video from from Sage regarding these. They're going to be available at uh, at the beginning of of April. So um, so swing by Nordic Anglers for more info on the new uh, on the new Sage R8 core. Um, another thing is. Um, Another exciting new uh, new thing is is the uh, if you're fishing for salmon, uh, then uh, Nam has uh, has has a new rod coming out uh, also in in the beginning of April. This is called the Nam Rain, and uh, basically what this is it's 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 also a revolutionary rod on on many accounts. It's um, it's made from another uh, graphite than uh, than the other Nam rods, which makes it a bit a bit deeper in the action. Um, um, I've tried this both uh, both casting on on grass, but also uh, on the water. I fished with this for a couple of hours in uh, in good known after salmon, and uh, and I just I, I I must say that in the price range, I think this is one of the strongest bets out there. I am truly impressed by the the the, the design, the feel, and the way that this Namros really really performs. Also, they are five pieced. So they're easy to, to carry along uh, to, to the river or if you're going, you know, on, on, a, on a longer trip uh, abroad or in, in, yeah, on a longer tri trip to other countries, they're easy to have in your suitcase. And, um, and, and they're, they're also, they arrive in an in a aluminum tube instead of the, uh, the, the, the PVC tube with the, with the Kudur nylon on it. So, so basically an upgrade uh, from, the, uh, from the Delgado in, uh, in some respects, both when it comes to finish and uh, and also I think that that they are all five pieced is really really awesome. I have ordered one of these in six, seven, eight, and nine weight because I really believe in these and I just I just I like them very much. So I foresee that that the new Namrain is one of the rods that is going to be one of the best selling rods uh, from our shop uh, this this uh, this upcoming season because they are a pure joy to fish. Um, they have. A lot of power, a lot more power than than I am actually probably able to uh, <laughs> to use. My two-handed skills are are fine. I would I would I would characterize myself as a as a decent uh, two-handed uh, fly fisherman, 
but I saw this in the hands of one I would describe as an excellent, excellent um, uh, two-handed fisherman. And he, he outcasted me by 20 meters or so. So the potential is here. Um, these are already available on, uh, on Nordic Anglers. So if you know you're in the market for a new two-handed rod, then I would urge you to, uh, to go to Nordic Anglers and pre-order one of these. Um, then you will be the first one to be able to, uh, to have one of the new NAM rods for yourself. Um, I guarantee you that this rod has a great potential. It's perfectly designed and it will get your fly exactly where it needs to go. So uh, I can see that this, uh, <laughs> this newsletter video here um, runs quite a lot longer than, uh, than what they normally do. I hope that is okay because there was a lot to talk about, but, um, but basically um, uh, that's it for now. Um, stay tuned and, and keep an eye out on the channel for, uh, for more of the videos regarding this uh, upcoming trip to both Whiting and the IFTD fair in, uh, in Salt Lake City. Um, I would just uh, urge you to uh, swing by Nordic Anglers, um, or if you haven't done so already, um, I mean, um, one of the things that, that we really like and, uh, and means a lot to us, if, if, if you, yeah, that's right, just you out there, you would hit the like button, you would place a comment underneath here, or, um, or, or go to that big length of subscribing to the channel. That means a lot to us. So, um, so please, please do all that things that you have to say in the end of, of a video like this. Otherwise, I wish you, yeah, that's right, just you out there. I wish you all the best of luck out on the water. And I thank you uh, wholeheartedly for watching this video.